the request of Crash B 2007 I have named her Goko because I didn't have the heart to name her Crash. I've named her after Crash's sister. Goko. Let's go, Coco. My name is Coco. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering this quickly. What? Was her name impressive? It's Coco. Like, mmm, I'd like some hot Coco, please. I don't know exactly what what his intentions are here, this old man. Open up! Give us back the girl in the Empire's Magitek armor! Never! Wait, my Magitek's armor here? Let's, let's get in the Magitek armor. I'll one-shot him with a bio-blast. No problem. Open this door. We want that girl. She's an officer of the Empire. No, she she had the slave crown on. Empire? Magitek armor? Look, I don't have... I have to get you out of here. I don't have time to explain. Over here. No, I'm going this way. Because if you go over here... Oh, this is probably a good time to mention that there's no dash in the game. Not this version. Not this version. If you look in the grandfather clock, you can get an elixir, which is insane to me that they would give you an elixir this early in the game. Speaking of which, before we talk to him, let's take a look at our items. I believe you start the game with a tonic. Uh, we got the potion from the Welk, of course. The elixir we got there, it recovers one character's HP and MP to max, and it does not require a save point. You can use this whenever. When we get sleeping bags, though, we, we've kind of gone over sleeping bags. Before, sleeping bags will heal one person's HP and MP 200% at a save point. Sometime between the Welk and the Grandfather Clock. The old man slipped her up I, while she was sleeping. That's totally not creepy at all, dude. Make your way out through the mines. I'll keep these brutes occupied. All right. I trust you, old man. Let's get out of here. Why didn't I pick up the Magitek armor? She's up there! And I guess the the guards here of Narsh, Narshi, I've never been 100% sure how to say that. They're not apparently very reasonable because otherwise we probably could have just be like, no, seriously, she had the slave crown on, she was, she was under their control the whole time. She's not responsible for that. Hey, a safe point. But apparently that is not good enough for them. Let's go ahead and save on screen. This will be the last time that you see me do that, just to see what it's like and how quick it is. The beauties of a cartridge instead of a CD. Let's head up here, get into a fight on the bridge. We have the same enemies that we encountered before, uh, but now I'm going to hit L here. The R would have worked too, but that's how you cast it on everybody. Let's see what we can do. Wow, that is not that great without the Magitek armor. They make that so much easier. Ah, oh, but our Magitek armor is gone. It's gone. Actually, it's back there. We should have grabbed it. These two treasure chests, by the way. I am not going to be opening them. You could if you want to. I mean, the one on the right holds a Phoenix Down. Phoenix Downs will, of course, uh, heal a fainted ally in battle. But since we only have the one party member right now that's pretty much useless to us and on the left there is a sleeping bag the one on the left should you well there's a little bit of a controversy about whether or not you should open it now uh, if you leave them alone like I am going to they will power up I guess you could say at some point in the game and then we can come back and get them and they'll be more powerful but if you empty them now they'll be empty when you go back later uh, the one on the left the sleeping bag there's a little controversy about that one because what's in the chest later is kind of easily obtained at that point in the game uh, so they're saying well actually the sleeping bag at this point of the game is more valuable than that later in the game uh, but I'm just going to, to leave it closed I don't think I need the sleeping bag over there is nothing so let us head up and to the right and we get into another battle with where rat and I get a preemptive strike on them <sighs> so used to that no L and R that will work for me so I used to just doing left left to do that and down they go I should mention that if you put Coco in the front row I have her in the back row for, for defensive reasons hey she gained a level very nice 
If you put it in the front row, you can actually one-shot a Were Rat and a... Oh, God. Vaporite. That's what it's called. But not a Repo Man. Not a Repo Man. But those you could one-shot with a physical attack. Hold on for one second, though. I just need to t take care of something real quick. Let's move on and not get to the door. Got her. What do you mean, got her? Oh, damn, we're surrounded. Where's my Magitek armor when I need it? It was so good. Oh, oh. Well, apparently the corner had a hole in it. And, and Coco fell down. You, d you doing okay, Coco? Come on. We got, we got work to do. Let's collapse. All right. Kefka, my sweet little magic user. <laughs> With the slave crown, I'll practically own you. What do you mean, own her? So who's this Kefka guy? Is he putting something? Well, he obviously put the slave crown on, on her. How, how important is he? No laughing! Damn you, Kefka! Why are you laughing? That, that poor Coco. Fire beam. No, bio blast. You can only kill one at a time with fire beam. Damn, 550. <laughs> Good. Burn up everything. I'm not sure I like this Kafka guy. I don't want to jump to conclusions. I don't think he's up to good work. Who do we have here? Got Kefka on the left, Coco on the right, and who's in the middle there? Gestal. We stand on the brink of a major breakthrough. In the days to come, we'll witness a total revival of magic. It is our destiny, and ours alone, to take this mystic force and claim what is rightfully ours. With our newfound power, nothing can stand in our way. Hooray! Long live Emperor Gasol! I don't think I like this guy. What kind of salute are you guys doing? I don't think that salute's okay, you guys. Whatever. Coco, get up! Damn it. Down goes Coco. I just named you! What the hell? Who the hell's that? Took you long enough. How goes the Robin and Plunter in trade? Treasure hunter and trail worn traveler, searching the world over for the relics of the past. His name is not Locke. Named after Luke who's 13. This is not Locke, this is Luke. I might make that mistake a couple times though. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ah, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference! Don't wag your finger at me, Luke! Anyway, were you the one who sent for me? Yeah, there's a girl I'd like you to meet. Huh? This better not have anything to do with that Magitek riding Imperial... Witch! Yeah, actually it does. Imperial troops are pursuing her even as we speak. This town is no match for the Empire. Our independence can only be assured if we join forces with the Returners, an underground resistance movement. That girl wasn't responsible for her actions. We must get her to understand our dilemma. Alright, I think we'd better help her. You are easily convinced, Luke. We went from, she's an Imperial Witch to, yeah, okay, let's do it. Agreed. Make your way first to Figaro and talk to the King. The King of Figaro, you say? Does he sing? Whenever I hear the word Figaro, I always picture an opera for some reason. And, wow, Luke is quite, quite the treasure hunter here, getting down there so fast. He found his treasure. He loves him some cocoa. But it looks like the guards are now down there too. Now we gotcha! And they do. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. How's he going to take him on? K Koopo? No way! Yes! It's time for Moogles! The Moogles have already shown up. Moogles? Are you saying you want to help me? That's a yes. Koopo! And now we get... Well, this is like their tutorial screen. Use us to save Coco from the gods! 
Need more information? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? You'll fight using different groups. Uh, three different groups. Press the Y button to switch between them. Your job is to defeat the commander of the guards before his men reach Coco. Save her, or else. Or else game over. It really is game over. Uh, we start off with Luke's party here. I'm going to move him over there. Actually, let's take a look at his, well, everybody's equipment. Uh, we have, well, three random uh, Moogles. Uh, a couple of them I can actually move to the back row, so I'm going to actually do that. Koopop can go into the back row here. Uh, he has uh, how do I? He has a weapon that can hit from the back row for full damage. I don't remember what it was, but I know he does. Luke is actually under-equipped. I unequipped Coco before we got down here, so now I'm going to give him the Mithril Knife and the Buckler. Very very much appreciated that bet for him. Definitely increases a bunch of his skills. Okay. Whoa. Not that. Wrong but Okay. Now we have found Mog's party. Mog is by far the best Moogle. Uh, Cuckoo can go in the back row here and Coupon can go in the back row here. Uh, we can't really see any of the Moogle's equipment so I can't ch like show you what weapon they have but you know, the back row is fine for them. Mog, we can actually see his equipment. He has a Mithril Pike and a Mithril Shield. Very, very nice. And finally, we have our generic Meat Shield party of Kushu, Kurin, Kuru, and Kamog. Kuru is a cannibal. And if you don't get that joke, I am okay with that. Uh, Kamog, oops, wrong way. Kamal can go in the back row here. You can't see any of these guys' equipment. Uh, as you can see, they're not that great. Uh, a word about uh, Cuckoo in Mog's party. It is said that she is his Mog's girlfriend. As you saw, as you might have seen, she was severely underleveled. Go meet Shield Party. This is the party that I'm going to use uh, until they are dead. Pretty much. Uh, we need to ca attack the Vamamoth first because the Vamamoth loves to cast Blizzard which does about 40 damage to everybody, which is why my meat shields are out there first. And there you can see Kamog has the boomerang, which is why Kamog is in the back row. Uh, they do get experience. Oh, very nice. They also get quite a few items. Uh, the general idea here is to keep Luke's party out of battle as long as I can while taking on these guys and, of course, keeping them away from Coco. Should they touch Coco, you lose. Looks like I can get away with maybe two more. Critical hit on the Vama Moth, down it goes, and the Lobo goes down as well. Did I get any items from that one? No.